What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you're all having an absolutely incredible day I know I am go ahead and slap that like button upside the head like something with a helmet on because I really enjoy likes guys And uh, you know the likes have been dipping a little bit I'm not gonna lie they've been going down a small amount and that makes me very big sad big sad sad boy sad hours I'm gonna go listen to every little peep album back to back to back unless you guys press that like button right now No joke. No scam as you guys can tell from the title today We're gonna be telling the story of a time this lady threw a grape fruit at the manager at the grocery store I worked at. I've already told a couple stories about working at this grocery store. It was my first job and one of my only real jobs I've ever had, but uh, I I've got some stories from it. I'm thinking about starting to tell stories about my other first job that I had, which is I worked at a movie theater for a while, and trust me, that, that was somehow crazier than working at a grocery store. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. <clears throat> we got some grapefruits to throw. So working at this grocery store was always an adventure, mainly because uh, our clientele was a lot of rich soccer moms that just had nothing better to do all day than come cause havoc at a grocery store because I don't know their husbands are like cheating on them or whatever And uh, this was during the summer so I could work during the day and that's when you would see the most of it Because after work hours, you know normal people would come in people who have jobs people that you know Don't have time to fight with people in a grocery store is who would come shop there But during the day people had way too much time on their hands would just go out of their way to make sure that we had The least enjoyable experience working there possible like if a soccer mom could cause a problem She was going to cause the problem and this day was no exception and it started off as a really good day, okay? I got some sushi. I was having a good day I go into work expecting to just work a four-hour shift and go home It was just a short one I was just filling in for somebody and uh, I was actually filling in in the produce department Which I thought was pretty pretty fun when produce for those of you guys who don't know is like the the vegetables the fruits The whole fresh food section and basically my job was to clean and oil up all of the, uh, the The stands with the fruit on them. And so you know, I'm doing my thing oiling up the fruit I don't really have to interact with customers very much. I'm just doing my thing living lavish doing what I have to do to survive out here on the rough streets of working in a grocery store And like I said, I'm not in my usual department So I don't know it very well and some soccer mom comes up to me all uppity and says I'm in a hurry I need you to help me find this now and I'm like, okay Well, I don't work in this department normally So let me go find somebody that can actually help you and she's like no you work in this department and I'm like, well, I, I don't and she's like, yes, you do and I'm like, all right lady enlighten me Please please the 12 times you've been in the store. You've never seen me here How in the world would you know I work in this department is what I thought but I was like no I really don't let me go find someone so I go and find the uh, manager of the produce department and for this story His name is going to be Brian and Brian was a pretty chill dude me and Brian got along pretty well We would high-five on the daily and that's right high fives were being thrown You know, it's a serious bro ship if you are throwing high fives in each other's general direction Few things strengthen a male bond like a high five I wish my father would have high fived me more and if my uncle would have high fived me and instead of what else he did on Thanksgiving I would have had a much simpler life But no anyways I go and get Brian and basically tell him that some lady who uh, seems very uppity and not fun to deal with is looking for something and is in a huge hurry And he rolls his eyes and goes out there and she starts telling him about how she needs to make a grapefruit something blah 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 Salad and that she needs only the freshest grapefruits and he's like all right Well our grapefruits are over there and I think that's gonna be the end of it because you know You would think the lady would be like I need grapefruits and then she'd get pointed to the grapefruits and she'd go about her merry way But no 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 soccer mom lady was not gonna stop there But no, I'm gonna name this girl Rebecca because I feel like that's a very grapefruit angry angry name and Rebecca was not just happy with us showing her where the grapefruits are she proceeds to look at Brian and says you're gonna help me pick the freshest grapefruit and he goes look lady I, I, I kind of work in a grocery store I am by no means a grapefruit expert okay I don't eat grapefruit I'm not a fan of grapefruit I'm gonna be useless on this adventure and she starts ranting about how it's ridiculous and how dare our grocery store not have produce experts working in the produce section because yeah lady we're definitely getting paid enough to be experts on fruit while we're working in a grocery store also most people who need to buy a fruit know what fruit they want and like what they want in it Okay, I can tell you if a grapefruit's ripe But I can't tell you what the the freshest most prime Italian grapefruit would be because I don't know and I don't know how you want me to know because I have no idea So she starts just yelling at Brian about how he's useless and good for nothing And no wonder how the only job he could have is in a grocery store because with his customer service She's surprised he hasn't been fired already and is just going off and keep in mind Brian is like one of the nicest people in the store everybody loves Brian and I'm kind of standing there slack jawed and then she starts yelling at me about how I'm useless and all this stuff and I'm like lady I'm 16 years old How are you gonna yell at a 16 year old for being useless when your dumbass couldn't even find a grapefruit? It's a giant orange. Okay, it's a big orange Just look for the big orange and then go over to it pick it up 
boom, you found a grapefruit. But no, 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 you couldn't find a grapefruit. And you're going to call me stupid? I don't think so. And at this point, Brian's getting fed up because obviously this lady is out of control. And thankfully, Brian is in charge of produce. He doesn't answer to my stupid managers that caved to all the guests other times because that's the front of the store where, like, the baggers are. So Brian can do whatever he wants, and she really can't do anything unless she goes to corporate. So he says, look, you're not going to belittle me because I don't want to help you find a grapefruit. You're going to either get out of the store or buy a grapefruit and move on. And she starts screaming about how her husband owns the store, which we know is a lie, and is talking about how we're going to lose our jobs by the end of the day and we should kiss our jobs goodbye, and how dare he accuse her of of getting her own grapefruit. And I'm like, lady, do you, do you usually have people do your grocery shopping for you? Is it a surprise that we're telling you to pick your own grapefruit? Like, she's shocked that we're just not going to do all of her grocery shopping for her. I don't know who this lady is, but I genuinely hope that she stubs her toe every day for the rest of her life. That's how terrible she was. Anyways, so Brian basically says, okay, you're not going to buy it, then you need to get out of the store. And she's like, you can't kick me out. And he's like, I, I can kick it out. And so she's screaming, throwing a fit about how he can't kick her out and all this stuff. So Brian just does the most logical thing and just walks away, just walks away from her, steps away and starts walking away, which makes her mad because she realizes that she's not getting attention anymore. No one's paying attention to her. Nobody cares that she's throwing a temper tantrum. She no longer has the attention of everybody. Everybody's staring at her, but in like the embarrassing way. And Brian has just walked away. So I just go, oh, sorry. And I start walking away too. And I guess when both of us walked away and she had nobody to yell at anymore or like yell at somebody to get a grapefruit for her, that pissed her off to a level only seen in Hiroshima in Nagasaki when a nuclear bomb went off. I guess she felt backstabbed, betrayed, flabbergasted, opened up and flapped with the wrath of Flappy Bird. I don't know. Because what happens next is to this day, one of the strangest things I've ever seen. She picks up a grapefruit, don't know if it was ripe or not because I'm not a grapefruit expert like my boy Brian, and proceeds to throw it full throttle, like a Major League Baseball pitcher at the back of Brian's head. And I don't know where this lady went to college, I don't know what sport she played, but it was probably softball, because it nails Brian in the back of the head. A whole grapefruit! And I hear the thud, and there's juices, and it popped. And Brian turns around and looks, and she just like, I don't know what she thought was gonna happen, but she decides to just pretend she didn't throw it. Like, magically, a grapefruit just goes flying, everybody sees it, and somehow, we're just gonna be like, ah, uh, nah, I mean, she's, she's pretending like she she didn't throw it, so I guess she didn't. I don't know what the plan was, but she's acting like she didn't throw it. And Brian looks at me, and I point at her, and the entire store is just kind of looking at her like, did you really just throw a grapefruit at the guy who works here? And uh, the answer was yes. So Brian has grapefruit on the back of the head. He goes, we're calling security. You're going to have to wait here. Call the police, Ryan. She assaulted me. And at this point, she starts screaming about how it's not assault. It was just a dumb grapefruit. And I'm like, I don't know. You just kind of threw a grapefruit at him because you were mad he wouldn't do your grocery shopping for you. This is kind of how karma works. You kind of deserve to uh, lose the ability to, I don't know, leave the store automatically. So regardless, Brian calls the police and basically tells them that he's been assaulted by a grapefruit. And the cop's like, what? And he's like, yeah, some crazy lady at the grocery store where I work at hit me in the back of the head with a grapefruit because I wouldn't do her grocery shopping for her. And the cops are like, okay, we'll send somebody over. And obviously we're not a priority. You know, cops in the major city where I live have more important priorities than a grapefruit attack. But regardless, about 20 minutes later, they pull up and they kind of get everybody's statements of what's going on. And at this point, they cuff her and Brian goes, I don't want to press charges. I just want to teach her a lesson. And that makes her matter. She's like, you will be hearing from my husband. How dare you make a mockery of me in front of this grocery store, blah, 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 blah. My friend shop here. And he goes, yeah, your friend shop here. And you're still that crazy. Like you're never allowed back in. Gets the uh, overall store owner involved to ban the girl from all locations of this franchise. So um, I don't know where she does her grocery shopping now. But moral of the story is she threw a grapefruit at my manager because he wouldn't help her pick a spicy grapefruit to make her salad a little bit better. And that's just the type of clients we had to deal with on the regular. People that were willing to just throw grapefruits at people because they uh, just didn't like them. I I'm not really sure what their game plan was. I'm not sure what the methodology was to really just get in there and make a difference in the grapefruit community. But that's exactly what she did is uh, get get almost charged with assault. But uh, yeah, on that note, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, I really would appreciate you pressing the like button and commenting down below. It just helps the video do better. Helps me get more views, which in turn makes me more motivated to make more videos. Videos. You guys know exactly how it is. 
Uh, we're coming in on almost three straight months of uploads, which has been a grind and a half, but I've really enjoyed every second of it. I just wanted to say thank you to all of you. This is my favorite channel to make videos on. I know you guys are like, oh, the Scrubby channel has more subs. That's true, but I have way more fun making videos on here. Uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram, at Scrubby underscore YT, uh, Discord server as well is down below, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon with another video. Don't get anyone pregnant, and if you do, make sure they're incredibly hot and not willing to throw grapefruits at a guy who's just trying to do his job, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.